Hi, so we got five piles here. This reading is about your diseased loved one and what messages do they have to say to you. So if you lost someone and you're grieving, this reading might help you. And if you feel like you gonna be triggered, just click off this reading, okay? We got five piles here, pile number one, two, three, four, and five. So I decided to remove the items because I feel like... Uh, I don't know, some people said they don't like it and others said they do like it. But I feel like you can follow your intuition and choose your pile, you know? So let's start with pile number one. To at least till I get stones and it will be better to put stones, just tiny stones on it. People trust pile number one. What messages from your diseased loved one? So, okay. Please remember, it's a general reading. Take what messages will, like you will feel like it resonate to you. Okay, I'm getting messages directly right now. Take messages that you feel that will resonate to you and that you feel from your guts that those messages are for you. Okay, so I feel like throwing up, you, it's like your your loved one are telling you that I feel like before I mentioned like other messages i feel like it's important to tell you that you're gonna get pregnant soon or you're gonna have sex soon with someone that's gonna lead to marriage or gonna lead to uh, you will you you will meet someone again someone you you lost or someone you missed that you're gonna meet them again somewhere and uh also for some of you you're gonna have a baby soon so i'm seeing here a grandfather let me drink my coffee A grandfather, a daughter, a mother, and uh, a friend, and someone like at work, or like a group of people that you worked with that you lost, or a group of friends that you lost all of a sudden. And uh, could be a father, a mother, like just use your intuition. Also, they're telling you that they are miss like you're missing them like crazy, and I feel like they miss they missed you, they missed something. I feel like they missed you. Uh, not now, I'm saying, like, because they are feeling peace, but they missed you. Uh, was a day that you've been asking, like, if they missed you or not? For some of you, have been asking if this this man missed you while they've been away or something like that. They did miss you a lot, they say. Some of you, they wish that they had a kid with you or they wish that they you were pregnant or something like that. I feel like it's going to make you more happy if you had a baby with them or you wished for that. Also, they want to tell you that, uh, that there's a dog or a pet that you have. They say that their dog or their pet sense their, their present. Like when they're around you, they, the dog senses it. So just if you feel like the dog been acting weird sometimes, that's why. Also, they're saying that... I see a husband here also. Also, they're saying something about, again, the camping and the fire... This person want you to uh, move on with your life. If you're thinking about opening a business, there's like someone here like thinking about opening a business or doing something like a work that you've been creative with. You've been creative with either food or something that you've been doing or a drink or like you want to open a coffee shop or a small business that you're working on. They're telling you that work on that and invite people over someone is here saying that invite people over for others of you about this business it's another message it's like it's ask for help from dad i'm saying it like i'm not sure what say dad ask um help from dad and uh for others of you this person is saying that they didn't mind that everything was simple the funeral was simple they didn't mind that if you felt like that they mind and also, there's like whatever business you've been working on, you're doing it great. Also, there's a talent that you're not paying attention to, that you're good at, that you're doing, you're focusing on some business. But there's a talent that you're doing like regularly, like as a uh, thing that you do, you either like drink something or cook something that it can be like a real talent if you made it as a as a work or something like that. I'm not sure what, whatever, like talent, but there's a talent you're not aware of, like you're doing it, but they say that if you worked on that, it might lead to something. And they say that you're focusing on uh, a lot of people and you're lost about something, that you're focusing on random people that you're lost about, like you're not sure anymore who's the right one. 
They say the right one is the one with the, for some of you, like it's a general reading, is the one with the brown hair. Kind of got a brownish hair, uh, like heavy facial hair for some of you. Or like she, if she's a girl, she got brown hair. I'm seeing something like that. It's the right one. Also, they say something about dear love, something about a dear love. Adele, you've been listening to songs and you're remembering them or songs that making you sad. Say, stop doing that. Be happy. Stop reminiscing on over what happened. And like, stop reminiscing on those things. Reminisce, like, just like focus on the good memory. Don't, don't be focusing on memories that you had with them that made you feel sad, they say. Let me drink my coffee. Also, I see you like you remember a memory of you at school when you were a kid or something like that. And it makes you feel sad. Like whenever you remember a feeling of that. And then you just remember and you feel the present of your father or your mother. Or something like that. It just makes you feel sad. And this person is like wanting you to see this memory. To go back at it and see it differently. Do not remember the pain of losing them. Just remember the present of this memory where you were there and how you felt that moment exactly, not now. Something about that. Also, there's someone on their way for you. Do not hesitate. Something about that. So let's move on to vital number two. So people who chose bile number two, what messages from your diseased loved one? The spiral. Uh, please remember it's a general reading, just take what resonates and follow your intuition to apply this, those messages on your situation. The spiral, you lost a, there's a grandmother, I feel again, a grandfather, a woman figure here. There's a female present or a mother or a friend. Also there's a father or a man, like an older man. I see also a black man here uh, who wears a lot of colors. And also I see someone with a big, long, long blonde hair that, that had long blonde hair or something like that. I see a lot of people here. Oh, sorry. Uh, something was like scratching me. Uh, what is that? What kind of message is that? God with a scratch. Do you have some kind of back pain? If you have a back pain, just like they tell you to take a rest and watch your health, watch what you've been eating. You've been eating a lot of junk food, a lot of not healthy food. For some of you, they say that watch your health. For others of you, they say do not worry much about what you're doing. It feels like you're obsessing about... For some of you are obsessing about getting sick like this person or like becoming like this person or something like having like you're gonna end up like having some kind of disease that they had or something like a condition do not worry about it they say also someone here passed away uh, with cancer uh, an accident also some some kind of criminal accident here like something like aggressive i'm not sure what is it also an accident and uh airplane also i'm not sure how so airplane uh car crash also this person telling you that a wish of yours is coming to coming to life soon and they're telling you something about you hesitating to feel sexual towards someone for some of you there's like a girl here that you're hesitant to feel sexual toward don't worry about that because she feel the same way about you or it could be like reverse a female or a male but I'm sensing that they're telling you one of them here saying that and I sense a smile like this is a good energy whoever this man there's this black man is really 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 happy they got a very very good energy I love their energy uh, they are making me feel happy somehow so uh, it could be a father I'm sensing a lot of father or grandfather something like that could be uh, also there's like this white man saying something about you drinking and you're worried about something that is going to happen to you. Don't, don't worry much about whatever you've been doing. Just like be healthy and do not worry much about what people are saying also about you. Don't worry about what other people say. Like don't mind what other people say. And also they are telling you to... Um, they, they like what you've been cooking. Again, I sent this message from like before when I did this pick reading. But you've been cooking something and those 
kind of food recipes that you've been doing is like really interesting and they love what you've been doing cooking around and doing things like that again I lo they love what you've been doing like furniture for with furniture or like redecorating the house and also they say that a lot of people are watching you or they are admiring your courage how you like moved on and how you picked up yourself from this situation and how like you they say that the impact that how you you've been strong dealing this dealing with this uh, loss is like uh, this impact that just affected a lot of people positively also they say there's like an offer a man coming towards you or a woman or someone gonna give you something small it's not big but gonna make you feel lost and you will just feel like i'm not sure why you're going to feel lost it's like what does it what does that mean you will laugh about it something about it you're gonna feel it's like what does it mean now like i don't know they, like what does it mean it's like not it's not something like full it's like a tiny thing a tiny offer or something a tiny something to test the waters like what does it mean or something like that like what does it mean to have that and uh also they say in that there's something gross Something gross, they say, you know, about something gross around you. You need to clean something. There's, like, something gross around you. I'm not sure what is it. They say in the clean it up, okay? Clean it up. Clean this place up or something. Clean the place up. Or they want you to go to their place and clean the place up. Yeah, some of you, they want you to clean the place up. Oh, so let's move on to bottle number three. I'm sorry for your loss. People who chose bottle number two. Bottle number three. Uh, what messages from your deceased loved one? Please remember it's a general reading. Take what resonates and follow your intuition to apply the situation, to apply the messages on your situation and uh, just ask yourself if those messages are for you or not. Break from your guts what you feel. Oh my God, this bottle's cute. So this person is telling you, for some of you, I'm seeing like a mother, a female figure, a lot of female figure, a daughter, a woman, a mother, a grandmother, a friend, a female, uh, someone you've been talking to for a short time, like either online or something like that for some of you, someone who passed away during a trip. So I see also a male figure, it's like a younger male, like 50 years old or something like that. I see a daughter, a mother, a grand parents those cards are were here this is weird i'm not sure how they were like this i'm not sure from they were from this pile yeah okay this is an interesting event you just witnessed like how i put those cards and those cards were flipped so let's see what messages they want to tell you i feel like you hate for some of you you do hate from your guts there's a father here or a male figure also saying that you do hate your mother from your guts like from the deepest father you hate some kind of you there's a parents that you hate and they say uh like uh don't like don't let this hate get the best of you do not be like overly overwhelmed by this hate they say there's some things that you didn't know about your mother or about the father or someone that you hate here say there's things that you didn't know they say that karma gonna get whoever you think that they hurt you there's also some people that hurt you so there's females female figures here that they've been really hurtful towards you they will get their karma there's something that they will feel like i feel like justice will serve here i feel like some people didn't care about you or you lost this person like if you feel like you've been alone like for a long time and a lot of people didn't give you the love or care or just even like acknowledge your grief something like that i feel like this person is telling you that that their jealousy is the reason jealousy is the reason they're overly obsessed with your look they say it's like you don't know they think they're jealous about what you have and things like that but they're like they they're too shallow like they are obsessed by the way you look like maybe you wouldn't believe it but they say that so it's like this person's telling you there is something coming towards you are you gonna leave somewhere soon you're gonna go in a trip there's something far away from those people and those people wouldn't be able to touch you or come near you or just come and hurt you that you'll be so far away in your life really happy distant from them and that fact is just 
It's just karma for them. Something about that. You'll be happy, not bothered. Like, don't worry about this bad energies that you have around you. I'm sensing, like, a lot of bad energies. And you're worried about if those energies, like, will be coming back to you. Either you have abusive, like, parents or abusive someone or abusive, I don't know, a relationship, a mother, I'm sensing, or a husband or, like, even a daughter. That's weird. Like, if you have whatever abuse that you're dealing with or someone is, like, like you feel like whenever you push them they come back to her you do not worry about it you'll be far away from those people uh, sooner than you ever like you it's like what whatever you've been dreaming about is gonna come towards you and you'll feel happy and also they say that they wouldn't be able to touch you and you have a lot of flavors like i'm seeing here with the flavors but i'm sensing like what flavors yeah also someone gonna give you some kind of treat like now soon Someone gonna bring you something. It could be like your birthday coming soon or something like that. Then there's a birth gonna happen, like a birth of uh, someone gonna give birth here or someone gonna get pregnant. And also, uh, yeah, they're happy for you for whatever you're gonna get. If you're gonna have a baby, and also you're gonna have a tiny little boy. They say I'm not sure what. And also, you will be like traveling a lot of places. You will you will experience a lot of joy in your life. You will experience a lot of things that nobody experienced from them people who've been hurting you and that will make them feel the karma i'm not sure why they will they will feel i feel like they will feel how you like i feel like you're present for some of you you're gonna be out there and a lot of people loving you and the, there's a lot of joy that you put in and they will see how like how ungrateful they were when they had you how they treated you bad and you were just there and those people appreciating you and you're happy and everything everyone is happy like what if we treated him or her like this way then we will have this joy something about a toxic here some someone is toxic was toxic and they're very regretful they're telling you that also i see here they appreciate your sense of humor or you have something about your joke about things also they want you to get rid of the stuff that you still have and those stuff gonna make you feel only more pain more pain so they tell you to let it go don't be obsessively or like obsessing over little things stuff because stuff got no soul they're telling you stuff got no soul baby like they got no soul like a cup a mag something like that a bracelet they got no soul they got no soul in them it's like whatever you have is in in your soul it's not in the stuff so those are are meaningful like do not just keep yourself in vain and misery and also there is like a, a car gonna come a car something something you order something and gonna come soon and this those things are like uh they say that please uh, like sanitize those things i'm not sure why i heard that also i hear like someone saying here that you will you will not be pregnant by this man who you think that you love this or you think that you were pregnant by someone and but you will get pregnant from someone else then you expect you expect that you were that someone is the one but they're not the one something about that i hear don't be extra paranoid about little things they say just let things flow so that's it for bio number three Let's move on to bile number four. Bile number four, what messages from your diseased loved one? Please remember it's a general reading, take what resonates, and follow your intuition to apply this uh, to apply the messages on your situation, okay? Okay. Um I'm not sure why I said okay. Like I'm talking to myself or something. Yeah, this person hears you talking to yourself a lot, like uh, you talk to yourself a lot and they they enjoy hearing you talk about things. They talk about relationship, you joke about things, you talk to them. feel like you talk like they're there, they are there and they're listening. You talk about things like that and they enjoy that too much. They say they enjoy it. Also, they love how stable you are. You become more stable, more independent, or you grow up to be a beautiful person. They say, I see a father here, a male figure, a husband. I see a little cat. I'm not sure what with the cat. Something about cats here is kind of like hilarious for them. And uh, you hate cats. <laughs> uh, I hate cats. That's weird. So uh, also, they say that 
there's a present gonna come towards you like you're not expecting something a gift gonna come towards you someone gonna give you a gift so i see here also a son a daughter a father whoever you think that this is the one i see like a woman who was like very sporty or into sports or athletic or into horses I see a woman also um or something like that and also this man or there's a man here a father or someone saying that you will you will be very athletic you will be into some kind of field like either like uh like horse riding or something like that they are very excited for you that you will do something say you don't know that you will you'll be doing something interesting something not usual but you will do it soon and you will be very happy and good at it you'll be so good at it like that that's how good you are or something about that they say like also you you met the one they say you met the one they are very happy for you because you are you know who he is or she is and you know that you're in love with them and they say that they are scared that you don't love them back or they're paranoid that you will reject them they feel a lot of a lot of feelings for you but it's, they say that it's kind of funny because you both feel a lot of feelings toward each other but this man is also scared about you not accepting their religion or this woman or something like that and they're scared about like like how they have a lot of anxieties in their head and also they don't know how you're gonna accept them something about that like are you gonna accept them are you gonna love them back are you gonna give them kisses something like uh, cute about this person is like they telling you how this person thinks because you ask this man you ask this diseased person or you ask someone you ask you're asking spirit about how this man feels towards you so they want to tell you now the juice about this man so they're telling you like this man or this woman well i'm not sure what i say man but there's person he say they love you they love your pictures i'm not sure if you're posting a lot of pictures pictures now because we are in separation or something they having a crush on you they're crushing back on you they say there's something about food here they love the way you put food or something or something about food or like chips i see snacks or stuff like that i put snack is that my wow that's weird but it could be whatever just ignore my what i said here but i'm here like messages like that so what else they say they say that um, this man find you uh irresist irresistible and attractive also i see here like um a woman or someone fat someone fat i'm not sure if you you have like a bigger man like someone fat with a big belly who passed away something like that they say that uh, you need to walk away from something also they telling you that you need to walk away from something a situation i see also a blonde dark blonde hair say you need to walk away from a situation and leave it in the past leave everything what happened to you what made you sad what made you feel like you were like acting like you feel like in the past you had to act a certain way that you don't believe in or you acted away for other people or something like that you feel those people always make you feel uncomfortable with your own skin or you had to be something different it's like you don't have to do that just walk away also let's go back to this crush they say this crush find you irresistible and they always think about you sexually and whenever you feel something like that they say that they think about you sexually also they think they want to take you in to a trip and this crush one is very they are very obsessive about you and uh, they admire your courage about doing something you have a lot of courage and uh, but they are scared that you have other people or they're jealous about you having other people something like that they say talk a lot about the, your crush because i feel like you ask a lot about your crush and they say that you, you your crush want to have like three babies with you are they just thinking about having babies with you that's weird but they say that and uh okay you ask a lot of questions to this diseased person and this diseased person want to give you the gossip so they were telling you that the, your crush is thinking about having babies with you and they think about taking you somewhere away, 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 away because they don't want you to fuck someone, someone that they think that you want to fuck or something like that. They're scared that someone's going to take you away. They're just worried. Oh, that's funny. So also they say that uh, they want like a commitment. I see some someone like having like tapes on around someone's hand like something on your hand not of kind of tradition in one country but they want to like one country so they want to take you to multiple countries and marry you in multiple countries i'm not sure what that means or maybe fuck you in multiple countries but they really want to travel a lot anyway let's go back to diseased people here other diseased people please tap in the line tell me what you want to tell your loved one so Someone here, I see a woman, a beautiful woman. She got her back broken or something like around her left side or 
her hand was something about her hand that when she died and she was telling you that you there there's something in her room or at her place that if you notice deeply you will see something or you you will have your answer you could be like angry at her about something but if you look inside her room you'll find it something about that you you don't have to be angry about it don't be angry about it say please don't be angry at me i'm not sure what is it and they say like uh, you will feel you will feel good in a couple of years about something like don't worry like don't be obsessively thinking about something you want it now and they say that they are in peace of course and everything is good just don't worry about it they say don't worry about it don't worry about it please something about that and uh, they want you to uh, let go of something they say that you're being egoistic about something here uh, so there's a female saying that you're being egoistic about something and uh, you're, that's why you don't want to accept the grief or you don't want to grieve or you don't want to accept people help or something like that just accept people help they say accept people help to help you with the griefing and also they say stop hiding your feelings and not wanting to move away there's another man he's saying that also there's a son a very cute son here or a boy they're saying that i love you they're saying i love you they, all they want to say is i love you they say, i love you i love you don't worry don't cry don't be sad i love you i love you i love you i love you they're saying that it's a lot of love from this man or boy there's a male and uh someone here saying i love you mommy also and um uh, Someone here screaming, I'm not sure who's this person, but screaming, leave, 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 leave. Leave now, leave now, leave now. Leave him, something like that. So let's move on to battle number five. So battle number five. Ouch, I don't know if I'm allergic to something like I'm wearing, clothes or something. Sweet, or there's dust because I'm allergic to dust. So, about number five, please remember it's a general reading. Just take what resonates and follow your intuition to apply the, those messages on your situation. And uh, yeah, just see if those messages are for you or not. Yeah, so your people, your diseased loved one, think that you've been stressing about something, that you feel life is really slow. And you're not getting what you want it. You're not getting there. Something is really dark coming. You feel like whoever you wanted is not giving you an offer back or not coming toward you. Or whatever you wanted is like really slow not coming toward you. And I feel like you're very frustrated and you're very in pain. It's like, why is life like this or something like that? You wonder a lot. There's a man here. It could be a husband saying that to you. And also a male figure, a grandfather, a really old man. Or also a father, there's a lot of male figures here. Also a daughter, a sister, a friend, and uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, there's like a woman here, a mother also. They say that you're gonna, some of you, uh, the mother say that you're gonna get laid soon. I'm not sure why I heard this message. Or you're gonna have sex soon that you're gonna feel then that sex gonna, or you meeting this person, that loving person, or whoever saying that, that you're gonna meet a loving person, someone very emotional, someone gonna make you feel horny. I heard this message, so don't be like, why did they say that? So they are saying that you're gonna feel like really sexual towards someone, and that someone gonna make, gonna help you with that grief, like, because they very warm and very emotional and gonna help you feeling really good about yourself something like that and they're saying that once you let go of this image that you have in like inside your head the grief will fade away so let go of the image and also you could have in like you could have like pictures on your phone or like just pictures that you've been looking at and making you feel sad they don't want you to look at those pictures because you've been stressed stress about life and you look you're not seeing what wildlife is here you're seeing the negative side and there's like a lot of good sides so that's why those uh, there's a passionate man or woman coming towards you to give you something that give you a lot of love gonna heal that all the pain that you're gonna be healed from also they say that at night like you've been dreaming about something at night and they want you to eat like if you're not eating for some of you and there's like uh, a uh, you're having a lot of stress out when you're sleeping and they see you when you wake up or you're having a dream or you wake up or crying sometimes or sometimes you cry and they don't want you to be like in this situation they're trying so hard to make you realize that what you're doing is wrong but they know how you're grieving and they know your pain 
but they want you to see things differently. They want you to start seeing life in a different way. It's this is by your emotion, and they do understand how hard it is. And their things are messy, but the things that they were messy, like your emotions that they making you feel sad, they say, kind of making you feel they they are covering your stability in life. They covering what what life what good things in life gonna come it's like almost you're seeing all the negative and this man or someone gonna come to you gonna give you a lot of love also there's a grandfather here uh, he's been acting like the love angel it's really funny to you because it's like his energy is all about love i see him like really wearing a big heart or something it's like about love so they are like been there your grandfather it's always there being our grandmother being there for you as a love angel like they just look at you send you love like oh you like whenever you have a relationship with someone whenever you're having sex with someone this person is really a cute energy like a really romantic love angel they are playing the role for your relationship and giving you love so whenever you're like in love they say they feel your love and you're there in love they say spirit is all about love so whenever you're in love with someone they're also in love with that feeling that it's all about love either you passed away you lost someone it's all love and everyone you feel everyone by love they say that so this person's his grandfather is all about love they talk about love like if you feel love in your soul, you feel love for everyone and everyone feels love back. Even if you passed away, your love stays. And even if uh, the, whatever you're scared of that you lose your person, the, that love, like they will, like you will feel love. You can give love to other people. You can move on. You can love other person, uh, persons. If someone like uh, passed away, it's fine. You can connect your body to someone else or something like that. They say it's fine. You give someone love back, it's fine. And also, they say that you will, you've you been really working hard on something and things will pay off, but be careful from something. Be careful from overindulging in some behaviors or some activities that are making you feel, see things differently, but they are not who, what they are or who they are. They say that you've been in, like thinking about things negatively about yourself. You were just been saying negative things to yourself and they're not true. Uh, those people love you so much like you have no idea those people love I sense a lot of love from your grandmother or grandfather They love you so much. It's like you're so beautiful. They're telling you I'm just sure sensing a lot of love a lot of coziness like they hug you if you feel it inside your heart like really warm They hug you like that. They want to give you hugs you No, know, like when you hug someone you feel that's why I'm saying like when you hug someone like uh, alive and you feel this feeling like warm inside you because you feel them but sometimes you hug someone and you don't feel anything because it's just a hug but sometimes you hug someone and you love them so you feel something inside your heart like whenever like a, a certain activity like if you love someone if you hug them you have a feeling if you feel horny you have a feeling if that those are the kind of feelings like whenever you feel this kind of hug feeling warm this is how spirit hug you it's like like that love never go away like if you feel someone if you have a connection with someone they're alive and this love and this connection you will still feel it they say it's still there because uh, it's in your soul yeah like your body is here meant for this experience in this lifetime so just like connect with other people is fine i want you to love someone else if you're worried about that they're okay with it and uh about your shoe they say about your shoe they throw it away something about that so yeah thank you like and subscribe if you want to